Welcome back to RD Works Learning Lab. Um, this is a very short session. I just wanted to pass on a little something I've discovered. I've always wondered why do you want max and min power? Because I always set my max power and my min power the same so that I don't get variation in the power. I wrote this little test program to check out Backlash. Basically it's a square with a little notch in it so that it starts and finishes from different directions and I can see whether I've got backlash in my axes. Let me just run the program and then we'll talk about it afterwards. Okay, now that's program one. Okay, now this is the same program done slightly differently. And let's just see what happens. Doesn't look any different from here. What we do, we go and have a look at it close up, very close up. Okay, now here's the first test. And I've done this on MDF. And as I was doing it on MDF, when the fumes come up and, sit and settle on the surface, you always get this brown staining where you've got too much power. And sure enough, what I observed here, look, was as I start the cut off, it's clean. And then it runs into the corner and the line gets thick and dark and it starts producing splash around the corner then it accelerates away along here leaving no marks gets into the corner and settles down producing brown marks again as the speed slows down as it approaches the corner the power remains high and so consequently you get a much deeper cut and look on the corner itself you've actually got a very deep cut where the speed is zero you're almost piercing through and yet when we run along here look along the bottom at full speed we've got a perfectly clean cut and that happens all the way around this pattern as the speed decelerates because I've got my max power and my min power set to 15 percent the power cannot decrease as it approaches the corner now most industrial machines um, they've got proportional power so that as you approach a corner and slow down the power decreases as well and I thought, no, these machines are not that clever. They can't do that. You know, these are, these are very basic machines. But the sensible minimum that I can put on this machine and it to fire is about 9%. So the second test, which is here, is 15% and 9%. And look, it's as clean as a whistle. The power is actually proportionally reducing as the speed reduces. This is quite a phenomenal <laughs> revelation to me because I never expected a machine of this caliber to be able to do that sort of amazing trick. Look at the cleanliness of that cut. There's just the merest hint of a little bit of burning in the corners. Just the merest hint. Just thought I'd share that information with you. So that's a very good application of Max Min. Here I am eight months in and this is the first time I've seen or discovered that. And by the way, the backlash test worked well because look, my start point and my finish point are in exactly the same position in either axis. So I haven't got any backlash on this machine. 